Hello everyone. Welcome. Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. Today we're going to make um, a farmhouse uh, milk jug. It turns out really cute and um, let's see, three, four, you can make it for less than ten dollars um, and even cheaper if, you know, you can use different things. Um, so, Today, I'm going to turn you down, and if you like these videos that I'm making, um, please share. Share with your friends. Um, it helps me out. So, I'm going to turn you down. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you know every time I upload a video. Okay? Let's get started. Turn you where you can see real good what I'm doing. Um, now, the way I do it everybody may not agree um you can do it your own way so i bought this bucket and i forgot to take that off but um i bought this bucket from walmart they're like 296 i think and i peeled the sticker off and had one sticker on it and i peeled it off so i would have done this part before i got started if i had remembered but all we got to do is bend it a little bit. It's going to pop out. Okay, now we got that out of there. I can use that for another craft. Okay, so we just got this simple bucket from Walmart. This was a tray, a lady I work with, she had um, brought her lunch um, in this, and she was fixing to throw it away. I said, no, don't throw that away, I need that. <laughs> so anyway, this come from a Lean Cuisine or some kind of little meal that you buy. So anyway, that was a freebie. This is just a big old um, bowl from the Dollar Tree. Doesn't matter what color because we're gonna paint the whole thing. Um, so there we have three, four, you can get two of these trays at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So I've got tons of those. I just cut some little strips. Um, they're almost about six and three quarters of an inch long and about an inch wide. Okay, so... I ordered these beads off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description, but they're just half beads, wooden half beads. And I ordered an assortment because I'm making crafts all the time. I use them for all sorts of things. Now, on the one I, I've already made, I used a star from Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99, 50% off. So I used $2, but you can get a pack of these at Walmart um, I don't know, like a dollar something, maybe a dollar ninety six, and you get six in a pack of stars you can paint them. So, to get started, this is the part, um, y'all may not like the way I do it, but I'm in a big, big open vented area, so a huge room. I have a little, um, wood burner. And it's very hot, so do not, do not, do not let children do this. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is, it's just a simple way. You can do it with your scissors, that's fine. Um, I try to be very careful with mine, but it's just a, it gives it a, a, a better edge to me it's, when I tried to do it with scissors it was just jagged all the way around so but y'all y'all can do it with scissors any way you would like to because everybody has a different way of doing things but this little uh, wood burning tool I, I use it to uh, when you buy plastic flower pots 
I use it to poke the holes in the bottom of my flower pots. And I find that they don't bust up. I have used a drill. And usually I crack them. So. But you don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. Everybody's got different ways of doing things. And any way you want to do it will be fine. It's got like a little metal tray that it rests in. And I try to be real careful. Now this is going to go on top of here. And I got plastic strings everywhere. Okay, so... Um... Let me get my Sharpie, and I'm just going to try to draw a little circle where it was. That way, I've still got some on the side to glue my top to, so that I don't cut it out too big. So this, this is quick, and it just... It's just the way I like to do it. I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. It's bright and sunny and hot and humid here. Nonetheless, it is beautiful. It's not raining. Last night I was gonna do some videos that require it to be dark outside while I was doing it. And right before dark, it's come up a storm, so. Those did not get done. But at least it was beautiful yesterday during the day. We have very hot and humid weather and it's sometimes it feels like it's just um, you can just cut the humidity with a knife. It's, it's really, it gets really hot and sticky. A lot of moisture in the air. Okay. We've almost got our circle cut out. And it doesn't matter what color pots you get. Okay, I'm going to unplug this. It doesn't take but a few seconds to get hot. And a few minutes to get cold. So we're going to leave that over there because we're done with it i try to make sure i unplug that thing as soon as i get through okay got our circles cut out now um you will need some a6000 and some spray paint i like to use the rust-oleum two times of ultra um, coverage it and this color is espresso satin and it, I love this color it's just it's like a true brown okay so the e6000 this takes probably 24 to 48 hours to um, completely seal and believe me I tried to take my other one apart because it it got just a little off because I didn't really just check it that good. And so I was going to um, pop it off and reseal it. Nope. It is stuck. It is on there. So now I wish I could have found a plastic bowl that fit just on the top rim. I could not find one. Which now we do live in a small town, so that that could be part of the problem. I didn't have a lot of choices to go to, so Dollar Tree was it. And our Dollar Tree um, don't put out all our stock all the time. So, this one overlaps just a little bit. This time I'm going to try to make sure I have it on even. Yeah, 
this. That looks better than the last one. Now, if you wanted to pop a little hot glue here, there, and yonder just to go ahead and seal it, you know, while you're working on it, waiting for the E6000 to cure, you could. But um, hot glue doesn't adhere. It doesn't stick plastic to plastic. It will pop off. So I'm not going to worry too much with that. Okay, so get this back out. And we're going to glue our top little piece. Y'all, this turns out so cute. In fact, I'm going to use one on my front porch. And then I'll probably use one in my uh, dining room. My little breakfast nook area. So, that's how much I like them. I'm trying to do this one right with y'all. Making sure everything's level. Okay. All right, it's looking very good. Okay. We're gonna take our um, little pieces of metal and we're gonna make us some um, handles. get them the same. I'm just kind of measuring. I'm going in about an inch and folding them. And this I will use some hot glue. We're going to need them to stick pretty quick. I'm going to need another hot glue stick. Somebody needs to clean their um, craft room. We're not to mention any names. these handles you wouldn't want to you know pick it up by the handles but if you wanted to go a step further and buy some some real handles and kind of screw them in there I guess you could that wasn't on my agenda and what I'm gonna do with these little half half balls is oh, come on that Rachel okay. I'm putting them on each side I'm putting two you could put one on each side you wouldn't really have to put any but I just think it's just a, a cute little detail and I spray painted um my milk jug brown and then I came back and painted my little knobs black I'm gonna have to check make sure I haven't got this thing on level again okay One more handle on. And it don't have to be precise. I didn't even measure the 
the first one that I did for the little handles and it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go straight across from there. Come over here, and you can measure and do all the perfect stuff. Just kind of tying it. And let's see. Put some more. Put a little on the other side of this. Turn it back around, y'all. See what I'm doing? Y'all, this turns, for to be so simple, it turns out so cute. Because real milk jugs, the authentic milk jugs, are expensive. Down here in the south, anyway. I think everything's more expensive down here. People think that um, their stuff is worth gold. I've seen milk jugs for like a hundred dollars and I'm like what so why not make one I have another exciting uh, antique piece that I'm got to figure out how to make that I'm excited about getting these little strings out because when I paint it they'll show up my hot glue strings so look how cute and all I did after I painted it and I painted my little knobs black after I painted everything brown I took some burlap ribbon it's um you can get that I know at Hobby Lobby probably at Walmart I think this might have even come from Walmart I'll wrap my um, burlap around it and put a star on the front. And let me show you how it turns out. This one is looking good. It looks more level. So I will paint it. And I showed y'all the paint that I use. Look how cute. Let me raise y'all up a little bit so you can see better. I want to get it all in the picture. See, there's the star from Hobby Lobby that I used. There's the little knobs there on the handles. I used the, the burlap around it to um, hide where it's not just smooth because your bucket's got a lip on it. How cute is this? You can use any kind of flowers. I may add um, some cotton in one of mine. But I love it. I think it turned out so cute. So y'all let me know what y'all think if you like it. And um, if you're going to make one. I think they're neat and it, fairly cheap for less than ten dollars you can have a, a melt jug um i think i'm going to put this one on my front porch and then i'm going to paint that one and then i'm going to put it in my kitchen in my dining room breakfast nook that's what it really is <laughs> i'll get the right words here in a minute so this is what i have for today you can arrange these any way you want make some filler i'd add some a little bit of greenery in there and um but you can put whatever you want and the other one i think i'm gonna put some cotton so
So, thank y'all for watching today. I hope you love this craft. And until next time, I love you all. Get to crafting and make something beautiful. Thank y'all. Y'all have a great evening. Bye-bye.